What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is Annabelle Creation. Annabelle Creation is a horror film that was directed by David F. Sandberg and is a prequel to the 2014 film Annabelle. Annabelle Creation takes place in the countryside where a nun and several girls from an orphanage take up residence with a middle-aged couple in their home. These young girls are enjoying their new living situation until they begin experiencing some bizarre and extremely creepy unexplained events that generally have to do with a doll in a white dress. Before long, these scary events occur with increasing frequency and the girls are left feeling rather uncomfortable and overwhelmed in their new living situation. And the rest of the film is spent watching the various young girls attempt to better understand these creepy events going on in their new home, while they also attempt to figure out why the weird dog keeps showing up at an alarming rate. Okay, so Annabelle Creation was definitely a film that was on my radar, but it wasn't one that I was like dying to see or anything. I have seen all the Conjuring films, but I haven't actually seen the original Annabelle film from 2014 that seemed to garner overwhelmingly negative reactions from critics and audiences alike. But Annabelle Creation has actually received pretty solid scores on Rotten Tomatoes, and while I don't know what those reviews actually say, I do tend to agree with the general consensus that Annabelle Creation is a pretty solid horror movie. Not great, not terrible, but solid and worth a watch if you're looking for more of that Conjuring style. With that said though, I think that Annabelle Creation is either going to be a movie that you're going to mildly enjoy, or a film that you're going to be disappointed with. I think the range of outcomes only goes that far. I don't think this is a movie you're going to absolutely love and go out and see a second time. Even for massive fans of the Conjuring franchise, this is a satisfying installment, but not a great one with tons of rewatchability. In terms of pure scariness, I think Annabelle Creation is sort of a mixed bag because the first half of the film implements a lot of jump scares. It almost goes out of its way to hit you with too many of them to the point where it actually becomes a little obnoxious. Some of them are effective, but there's a lot of them that just feel pretty excessive and like they're overdoing it. But in the second half, I think the film really hits its stride and becomes something more than just cheap jump scares. The horror becomes way more psychological and trades in the jump scares for something a little more effective and dynamic. Instead of just having things jump out of the characters and scare you, the characters become trapped in and around the house and their goal becomes escaping rather than exploring. That's when this film is at its best. Because overall, the first half of this movie is all right. It's nothing special. The plot is pretty similar to the plot of almost every other horror movie you've seen in the last five to 10 years. So don't don't go into this one expecting it to break the mold by any means, because it definitely doesn't do that. If anything, it follows the modern genre expectations pretty closely, especially in the first half. This plot feels fairly generic and fairly predictable, but if that doesn't matter to you and you're just in it for the scares, that's totally fine, but you should be aware that the first half, while full of jump scares, still feels fairly slow and underwhelming. This movie is only about an hour and 50 minutes, but it definitely takes its time. You spend a lot of the runtime just exploring the house with the girls and learning more about the family they now live with. You don't really get into the true horror until like an hour or so in. That was a problem for me, but it really just depends on what you're expecting out of this movie. Because the climax is really awesome and really scary, but the rest of the film tries to be a little more tense, I'd say, with lots of jump scares thrown in that don't really amount to all that much. There's one scene before the hour mark that does amount to something, but generally the story itself and the characters are fairly uninspiring and uninventive. The second half horror certainly carries this film to its solid level. But there are other things I did like about this film. I actually was pretty blown away by how it's shot and lit. For me personally, I don't expect a lot of ingenuity when it comes to horror films nowadays because they're way more focused on jump scares than anything technical. But I found myself continually impressed with how Annabelle Creation was shot and lit because it added quite a bit of drama, tension, and even horror to the film. There's several shots that incorporate really dim lighting or even pitch black darkness, and then they'll give you a few seconds to feel scared, and then they'll hit you with something scary. There's a really exceptional visual storytelling element that is aided by some really Really great sound, like creaks in the floor and dolls turning their heads evilly and such. David F. Sandberg has shown over two films now that he knows how to visually execute horror and how to aid it with excellent sound design. It's actually interesting though because David F. Sandberg directed Lights Out, which I actually thought was a refreshing take on the horror genre while still mixing in some of the standard stuff you'd expect to see from a horror movie today, like jump scares. But if I had to guess, I'd say that the studio execs probably wanted this film to fall more in line with the Conjuring films so that it fits comfortably within the franchise. The Conjuring were very successful, so for the sake of consistency and for an increased chance at box office success, they decided to play it safe and deliver more of the same. And if you're looking for more of the same, then I think Annabelle Creation is going to be a movie that you walk out of satisfied. It's got some things going for it, but it's nothing new when all is said and done. Overall, it executes tension pretty well, it looks and sounds nice, and it's got a climax that's really scary. Sadly, the first half is a little slow and underwhelming, the film overdoes it when it comes to jump scares, and the plot 
generally underwhelms. Regardless, I'm gonna give Annabelle Creation a 7.5 out of 10 and generally recommend you check this one out in theaters if you've seen The Conjuring films and enjoyed them or you just enjoy modern horror in general. I think you'll be satisfied with this one if so. So did you guys see Annabelle Creation yet? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know your favorite film in The Conjuring franchise. Mine is definitely Conjuring 1. That's all for now though. This is Will Foxification signing off. See you in the next video.